back today guys to the channel back here Forza Horizon 4 with a little bit of King gameplay for today but that's not really the purpose of today I wanted to discuss a few things regarding Forza Motorsport 7 the direction of Forza in general and uh, we're very close to hitting 2 million subscribers man so it's a big week we got a lot of things going down I actually have a track day book this week for the G35 we're gonna be doing a little bit of drifting it's been a very long time coming I have waited for this day for very long and it's been a process right I mean I came from an apartment building with my dad I moved out got my own house got my own garage had to buy my own tools right and here we are the final process before the car is actually ready to go out and drift and I'm just really excited you know, I can't wait to you know see what I can do out there with the car and uh, you know we do have the welded diff and everything like that we got the handbrake working at the moment uh, it's, it's not locking the tires up completely at the moment so I do believe I may need a little bit of a bigger master cylinder I'm not too worried about it before I go out because let's be honest with you I'm probably not going to be using the handbrake at a skid pad right I mean I really want to just practice some donuts get into some figure eights and really just you know try to uh, you know have some smooth wheel work out there and just you know, throttle control and just really see what I can do with the G35 man now today though this game plays special though because this was actually one of our very first King games on here and I did notice that the game does slow you down and if you guys did watch my recent videos this weekend on the channel I did a lot of King with the crew and it was a lot of fun right if you guys did miss those I will link them down below uh, you know we went back to back only single uploads I've been super busy this last week and I've just been really cramped for time which is why there's only one video today now if I can get out a second one I will but as it looks like uh, I'm just gonna be back on the grind Tuesday to Saturday double episodes on the channel now right here though this is a really nice little section at the train yard because you have this upstairs area and as you guys know with King right Forza Horizon 4 brand new feature where it will slow you down after 30 seconds of holding your crown and I thought that was pretty interesting right at first I didn't like it but the more that I played with it the more I actually enjoyed it because it made you utilize your other teammates to grab the king off of you and trade it off and stuff like that but I also found a sense to try to get some low speed dangles in here and that's exactly what we did we tried to play a little bit of keep away with this man for a bit and it worked right I mean you don't lose your crown you keep your speed and you look like what about 40 50 or so I think right about right about 65 I mean you can go pretty quick but it does slow you down it's like a big old rubber band on you and uh, right I mean that's the thing but we were out there running no problem whatsoever you, you know you pass the king around and you know you get your speed back but you know it's something different I liked it and that kind of leads me to my next point for today and that is regarding Forza Motorsport 7 and you know the new take that they're probably going to be doing for this next year and I know a lot of people including myself we've been playing Forza now for a very long time you guys know the drill right I mean we have Forza Motorsport come out and then a Forza Horizon come out and then a Motorsport and then a Horizon Motorsport Horizon right the loop continues however though I think that is going to be changing this year coming up we're not going to be receiving Forza Motorsport 8 and I did read an article I will leave it down below for you guys talking about it but you know the gist of it I mean we kind of already knew what they were planning on because they did hint on this on a live stream earlier in the month where they you know they said that there's nobody working on any other games at the moment everybody's working on Forza Motorsport at the moment and you know it's not Forza Motorsport 8 it's Forza 7 because they're doing content updates and that's the biggest thing that they're trying to focus on is content updates moving forward into 2019 now of course any other game I would be definitely upset we're not getting a new game right I mean it sucks we're playing the old game but if you guys think about it, Forza Motorsport is really the same game every single year, right? I mean, we have a few things changed up, maybe a few tracks taken away, maybe a few cars taken away. I'm just kidding, man. It's a bad joke. I'm sorry. But you guys know what I mean, though, right? I mean, we don't have that much that changes in these Forza games over the years when they do come out. Now, obviously, it has been a drastic change from the launch of Xbox One on the next generation, uh, you know, moving into where we are today, and that's Forza Motorsport 7. We started at Forza 5 on the Xbox one took us three attempts to make Forza perfect on the Xbox one and to me right now this game is perfect Forza Motorsport 7 is a great game at this point in time there's a few things that I would like to see change maybe you know some field of view you know small things right I mean nothing major but what if they planned a huge expansion for Forza Motorsport 7 as almost a season pass for the game. Do you think they're going to slap us with another season pass for Forza Motorsport 7 on the 2019 season pass? I think that's definitely something that they probably may do, you know, in order to pay and fund for these updates coming out. And obviously, 
to fund for a missing game in that hole. I mean, I'm sure Turn 10 and Playground, they have loads amount of money after all these years, but the fact that they're not going to have, you know, that huge source of income from a brand new game may hurt them on the long run, right? I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I really don't know what goes into these prices and, you know, how much they're making, what's their take home, how many they've sold. I don't know. But what I know, though, is that they're going to need some type of income for 2019. Yes, they can keep selling Forza Horizon 4, right? They can sell the expansion passes, the DLC and stuff like that. But after that, though, how long can they keep that going for, right? So I'm sure they're going to be bringing on some big things. And me personally, what I would like to see with this Forza Motorsport 7 content update, four things mainly. One, new cars. We want to see some new cars coming into the game, but I don't think it's the way that I want it to go. Now, me personally, if I had my way, I would love to see a lot more street cars and, you know, kind of say average price vehicles that you know you normally see on a daily basis maybe some you know imports and stuff like that some more muscle cars um, but i think they're more leaning towards specific racing vehicles which i'm not really too fond of right i mean i played forza because i love the freedom of getting into drifting drag racing circuit racing you know whatever you wanted to do you could do it on forza right you weren't kind of you know led into this hole where you had to do that one discipline now by the looks of it, they want to have a little bit more of a professional looking game in terms of, you know, the car list and actual physical racing cars. They want full motorsport spec vehicles out there, which to be honest with you, I barely even use in general, right? I'm always just kind of drifting online and stuff like that. So I really hope if they're going to take all this time to focus on this game and, you know, bring out this huge content update, please focus on everybody not just the circuit racers because i feel like that's where this update is going is that they're really gonna just market the game now as a strict racing game they want to have a little bit more i say hardcore clientele maybe i don't really know what they're going for but uh, i really do hope that they please the existing fans on the game that is where their money is that is where they need to be marketing the game to and i really do hope that they implement something for drifting drag racing which we already know is coming but for drifting i would love to see some type of maybe create a map you know a huge parking lot area maybe some new cars coming in new upgrades new wheels body kits wide body kits the list goes on right i mean there's a lot of things that we could want on this game you know window decals stuff like that and you know i really hope that they perfect forza motorsport 7 to what it should be and to me a perfect forza is not complete without Fujimi Kaido and I really do hope that they drop that into us at least some point in the year. I know that I think Forza's hinted that it's not coming back which I, I don't understand why or you know maybe just make us another mountain map right I mean that's that's really all that we want we want some toge driving roads out there I feel like a lot of the motorsport drivers want to drive on some toge roads and I know you know Forza's gonna be like well that's why we made Forza Horizon 4 where so that way people can drive on those roads but they didn't really make any toge roads other than Forza Horizon 1. That was like the closest that we got to a full mountain section, I feel like. And then we just never got anything like it ever again. And it was the weirdest thing, right? I, mean, I don't understand what happened, but I do hope that we have a bunch of new tracks coming in this year. The game definitely needs a refresh. It definitely does. You know, we've been playing it for a very long time now. And if they're expecting this game to last another two years, maybe three years, that's going to be that... That's a long time right now. We just got Forza Horizon 4, okay? So next year, 2019, we were supposed to have Forza Motorsport 8. 2020 is going to be Forza Horizon 5. And then 2021, we're getting Forza Motorsport 8? Is that actually what's happening right now? I, I think that's what's happening right now. Three years. We're going to have to wait three years for a new Motorsport game, maybe. Hopefully the rumors are not true, but I definitely feel like we're not getting a motorsport title this year it's just well i mean next year sorry but you know what i mean we're not gonna get it and you know it's a little bit disappointing but they also mentioned that they may be waiting for forza 8 for the next console that's coming out as a first release on that next next gen if you will i don't really know how they're gonna put that out there but uh you know the fact that forza had a pretty bad launch for forza 5 I really hope that they can come back and, you know, do a big for Forza Motorsport 8, right? I mean, that's the thing. Hopefully they can do so. If you guys were watching this and watching the gameplay, you would have noticed the train yard. It's snow right here, right? So we had a whole different environment with the season out here, you know, being able to see it change. And I'm definitely excited to keep playing Forza Horizon 4 this week. Lots of videos going up on the channel. Make sure you guys do slap that like button. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Let me know down below what you guys want to see on the channel this week. And... What are your thoughts about Forza Motorsport 8? Do you think that we're getting it in 2021 or is it coming next year?
Tell me your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. You guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below, including my last two episodes of King, Infected, you know, all the mini games and stuff like that that we did with the crew over the weekend. So check those out. Thank you guys once again for watching. I'm out. Peace.